hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm Jay Diamond, love and intimacy coach. I help stuck singles find their soulmate and great couples get juicy and reconnected. Lovely to be with you this evening. Um, I know quite a few said that you want to make this live, so I'll just wait for a few of you to pop in. Um, meanwhile, I'll explain what tonight's class is all about. This is my Awakening um, Sacred Love method. This is the method that I use with my one-to-one -one clients and my Cherished Girls. Hey, Olivia, um, which is my online course. My online course is Cherished. And that's the main eight-week um, online course that I have. And it's really, really powerful. And I use a particular method of moving you closer to your soulmate and this can work whether you are in a relationship or whether you're looking for your true love you're ready for your true love you're ready to manifest that in 2020 if that's you you know the drill hashtag me next in the comments please <laughs> i want to hear from you and i'd love to hear from you and just to pop a message in the comments and, and just like let us know what you want to manifest in love in this year, in this very year. Hi, Jenny. So I'm really looking forward to sharing with you tonight this process that I use with my clients because um, it's really powerful and I'm pretty sure you're going to learn something from it. So <clears throat> basically, it's an eight-step process. Um, and the first step to awakening that sacred love inside of yourself. Actually, first, let me explain why it's called awakening sacred love. Hey, darlings. Hey, girls. Hey, 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 hey. It's called awakening sacred love because this is about true, authentic love. That's what I teach. It's what I teach my students. It's what I um, do videos around. It's all around embodying true, authentic love. And for me, that's awakening the sacred love with, inside of you. And when we peel away those layers of conditioning, those, those mind tricks that tell you, I can't find love, it's too hard. You know, it's not for me. I've tried everything. Um, I'm not attractive enough. And all these different stories that we have, these things we tell ourselves that sometimes feel very, very real. Like, don't get me wrong in that. I don't understand. Like, it feels very, very real. And, um, and then we use that usually as evidence for why we can't have what we want. And so awakening sacred love is to awaken that place inside of you and to let go of the blocks to love inside of you and to integrate the places in you that are afraid of losing your freedom or um, feel that you're not enough or afraid somewhere somehow that you might end up like your parents or you know don't want to kind of end up in that society mentality driven kind of relationship but you want something else and if you've been saying for a long time i want love i want to create love you know i've been going on all the dating apps and i'm going on the dates and then and uh you know i'm doing this i'm doing that and it's still not happening then there is something inside of you that needs to shift and there are no two ways about it and the process the beginning of that process is that sometimes you say you're ready, but you're actually getting ready to be ready to be ready, and then you'll be ready. When you're really ready, you put your stake in the ground and you make that decision and say, I will do whatever it takes to learn whatever it is I need to learn, to let go of whatever it is and I, I need to let go of, and to bring in whatever it is I need to bring in, new information that I probably haven't known before, so that I can have the love that I deserve and really desire everybody deserves to have true authentic love and it creates such a beautiful frequency and it creates such a, an amazing point of harmony and that's why so many books have been written and songs have been sung all about love because it's such a powerful force and if you negate the part about awakening that sacred love inside of you you're always going to be pointing the one finger out while the three fingers are pointing back at you, right? Or 
because this is where we need to start first with the the right strategy that is going to continue to move you forward with learning the secrets of psychology the, the about masculine and feminine about men and women and yes um a lot of that is conditioning but it's conditioning that we're dealing with you know men are brought up in a certain way many men are some of them are trying to unravel some of that conditioning and so are women. So it's not about making yourself less than. It's not about dimming your light. If you'd watched my series of videos these past few days, you'll have seen I did a I did a whole class on being powerful and partnered. You know, it's not about choosing. I can either have power and freedom or I can have a deep authentic love. You can have both. And there are some things that you're gonna have to learn if it's not working for you yet. Then, then surely it should be clear to you by now that there's something that you're missing. And until you, like, get your head out your ass, to be frank, and really take that ball by the horns and say, okay, there's something missing here, um, and go for it and start to learn about that, then you're just going to stay spinning your wheels for the next two, three, four years. And often, and unfortunately, that's what happens before a lot of women actually women take the plunge to get a dating coach to go on a program that's just about relationships healthy relationships that's just about love um because we tend to put our energy and attention and focus and investment like our time and our thoughts everywhere else and we kind of just expect the love thing to happen if we just show up but if you're just showing up in exactly the same way and that's why i'm going to talk you through these eight steps tonight if you're just talk, showing up in exactly the same way what are you going to get exactly the same results so that's why i take women on a journey and guys i take people on a journey through these eight steps so that they can create the the soulmate love that they really want so if you're ready to hear all about that say yay and i'll explain to you how this process works and you can adopt some of that for yourself so the first um the first one is dating strategy that rocks so as soon as the women come onto my cherish program or you go into the master class that i've got that four hour master class we're talking about dating strategy that works that means you are not getting into a guy's head and being out of your body you know you are not putting all of your energy and attention and focus and fears and neuroticism and insecurities on this guy that you've only ever met two maybe three times you know you're being uh, mindful of how your energy is you're learning about masculine and feminine energy you're learning about leaning back you're learning about letting the man lead you're learning what it means to shift your own energy so that you can have a dynamic with a great guy where he feels like a great guy around you that's one of the biggest the biggest things um is how does how does your partner feel or how your date how do they feel around you and i'll take you i'll take you through a process you know i take my uh, my clients through a process but we start to have a look at that how are you actually showing up what subconscious messages and verbal messages are you sending to dates you know what if you want to um date for commitment which is what a lot of the people who are following me um once then you've got to date in a particular way right you've got to you've got to be savvy um you can't just rely on um a few dating apps you've got to get a bit more proactive than that and it's about how you show up when you go on the dates that's the big thing so the dating strategy part is a really big part but it's not the only part because you can have the strategy but without the mindset and the inner the inner work you can be kind of you'll end up going kind of meeting and releasing meeting and releasing meeting and releasing does that make sense but the strategy is a really important part and this is where a lot of women 
that I work with get these massive aha moments and some women also really resist for a while. I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it the way I want to do it. I'm like, okay, I, I can't force you to change, but is the way that you're doing it getting you the results that you want? If it is getting you the results that you want long term, then go for it. And some will say, yeah, I get dates, I get dates. And okay, so how many of those are great quality dates? And are you in a relationship yet? No, I've been dating for three years. You know, I've had some people who've inquired about working with me and they never get past the first date. Not the, never the first date. And when I tell them that they're going to have to make some changes, they don't want to do it. Okay, so it's like, what's the result that you're going to keep getting? You're never going to get past the first date if you want to do it your way. There's something that's happening in that dynamic. So when you look at this like new dating strategy, you can start to see, ah, right, okay, that's what I've been doing. That's the way that I've been showing up. And now I understand why it's not been working the way I want it to work. And that's powerful. That's really powerful because when you've got new knowledge, you can do new things and get new results, right? So the second part is relate is replacing unhealthy relationship blueprints for healthy relationship blueprints. Ava said, how do you recommend to get more dates Some good apps to meet new quality people? I'll send you a link to a, mass, a class that I did or join my eight week program Cherished. It starts on the 6th of January. And that, that is, that's where you learn about this eight step process. Yeah. So you can join Cherished. The, li oh, the link's above here. You can go and check it out. Um, so that, yeah, the next step is about releasing unhealthy blueprints and creating new healthy relationship blueprints. So what does that mean? It means that we all grew up with different influences from mainly from family, from society, from culture, from religions, from the country that we grew up in, the community that we grew up in, where there were particular relationship dynamics. Some of them are happy and healthy. Some of them are not. So what you might have learned growing up is, as a for instance, um, men are dominant and in control and women have to put up with it. And there's a part of you who never wants to end up like that. Or conversely, you might have grown up thinking women are dominant and controlling and men are weak or men are suppressed. And, you, and because you don't want to be like your mother or you don't want to be like your grandmother, you reject relationships as a whole because you don't want to end up like that. Or it might be that you grew up in a place where um, relationships were just like a, a throwaway thing, you know, people didn't treat each other well, they didn't treat each other nicely. And there's still a part of your like teenage mentality that's kind of, it kind of got stuck in there at a young age um, that boys are like this and girls are like that. And you've taken that with you through to your adult life without even knowing about it. You'd be Honestly, you'd be surprised that when we go into these blueprints, what's hanging around for you? Like, what are your beliefs about men? What are your beliefs about women? Some of them are so old and so ancient that they, you know, they're passed down from generation to generation. We hear our grandparents say and talk about things at a young age. And we don't even realize that it's going in on some level and that we've adopted that. And so the process is to really release what's not healthy, what's not serving you in terms of your blueprints of a, of a relationship. Is your blueprint of a relationship healthy, happy and harmonious of communication of how, you know, do you have a healthy blueprint of how to move through conflict? Do you have a healthy blueprint of how to, um, communicate and ask for your needs and desires to be met. Um, do you have a healthy blueprint of how to say no? Or do you not know how to say no? Can you not say no? Can you not ask for what you want? Do you not know how to walk away? And these are all like blueprint related things that inside of the Cherish program, you're going to start to release. So I use a mixture of dating, um, 
dating coaching, like relationship coaching and energy clearing. And the energy clearing is um, incredibly powerful. So you probably have seen some of my free videos either here on Facebook or on YouTube. And, you know, hundreds and sometimes thousands of people have watched those videos and received the healing. And it's incredibly powerful for opening your heart, for letting go of the past. And it, what it does is it's like a personal development tool that goes into the subconscious mind and starts to look at what's not serving you anymore. What are the old beliefs, the old behaviors, the old patterns that just don't serve you anymore? How can you get rid of them? It does It does shift them and replaces them with healthy beliefs. Because every we can we run on what we believe. Our life is run. The engine of our life is run on what we believe at a deep level, not in the conscious mind. Yeah? So again, if you're keep telling yourself, I'm really ready for love, but you don't ever really invest in that, you just do the same thing on the same dating apps and you don't go to any new places and you you know you're not kind of going any much deeper than like a, a youtube video here and a bit of a book there you'll pick up some great tips but if that's been a long standing problem eventually you're going to have to go a bit deeper in here so that you can release what's not working for you so that you can see oh my god i've been acting out and creating relationships either like my parents or my grandparents or i've been trying to get away from that and it's created chaos because i've gone so far the other way does it make sense um or you know i don't want to fit into society's mold and i don't know where i fit in so i don't know how to do relationship in the way that i want to do it so that's the second piece about blueprints and it's so enlightening so enlightening the third piece is around forgiving the past and moving on for good a lot of a lot of the girls who are on my programs and in the one-to-one -one work with me they have ex-partners who they have they've coped with that difficult relationship but they haven't truly healed and there's a difference or they've coped with something that's happened to them as a child or a teenager that was difficult traumatizing challenging um and it could be something as uh, like the way people treated you at school because you had bad skin the way people treated you at school because you were overweight it could be um an, an abuse situation <laughs> It could be um, that you've had a really bad relationship in the past or that you were, you're not sure whether you should have let that old relationship go or not. But if you don't fully learn how to forgive, and forgiveness is for you, not for them, and really let go, a part of your heart will always be closed. And there'll always be a part of you that needs to protect yourself. So if that resonates, say, mm, I understand that's me in the comments. Because often we actually we actually miss that place. We think, oh, well, it was years ago and you know, we've dealt with that now. But actually what we did is we we kind of learned to just move on and cope with the pain. And then eventually the pain lessened, but a piece of our heart closed. And so what we do in this process with, with the forgiveness is to start to open that heart again. Who do we need to forgive? Who do you need to let go of? Who takes up space in your head rent free? Who do you still think needs to pay for what they did to you? Who do you still have sadness around? Who do you still m mull over, you know, thinking that the relationship should have been something that it wasn't when you let that go a uh, huge freedom emerges and it releases so much energy in your life that new, so much new energy can come in it's amazing so actually on the cherished course they get rid of a hundred resentments reject rejections and regrets and you'll be shocked 
at how many old resentments or old rejections are actually knocking around in the corners of your mind once you start looking for them and you start asking them to call forward you call them forward and you say what do i need to let go of um you know because until you let go of that it's like stagnant sticky energy it's like when your drains are blocked right the, the clean water wants to go down the drain but there's a funny smell <laughs> and it, that's how it is in your relationships you you want to you want to give your love you're trying to give your love and they're trying to give you the love but there's a funny smell and something doesn't feel right and you don't quite trust it and you know you, you kind of stop you kind of pull back and it's because the lack of forgiveness lj said i understand and it's scary because my oracle card for 2020 was forgiveness it's a huge piece in creating soulmate love if you want soulmate love you want your heart to be open and free and ready to give and receive as much love as you can with this soulmate right and to trust it you know and to and to and to let that person love you all the way through and it can feel excruciating when you're up against those kind of really big trust issues because what will happen is you when you meet someone that you love all the bits and pieces of you and them that are not in the energy of love will come up to be healed it will come up to be seen and if you're not ready and if you haven't done any work on yourself it's a fucking rocky ride and often that's why people don't go much further than a certain number of dates because stuff starts to come up for them they get insecure or afraid or doubtful or you know or 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 or, or whatever it is for you and then it starts to dissipate you know and that's why doing this kind of work is so important so that's that's the third part of the process so the the the, the fourth part of the process is that energy clearing work i was talking about every week in cherished there's an hour or more of energy clearing and it's all about relationships it's about clearing your heart to release forgiveness it's about showing you where the where the hidden parts in your mind and, and body that still have been afraid to forgive and bring in the light of love to that place so that you can move forward so that you can let go and manifest someone new because what happens is if you don't forgive you end up bringing in the same kind of person over and over and over and over again because on the subconscious level you're calling out for healing you want the healing your soul wants the healing so it brings you in the same bullshit wrapped in a different <laughs> wrapped in a different package with a different bow and you're like oh it's different this time except it's not it's the same thing wrapped in a different package and because you still got the same thing to deal with and you will be brought the same um, issue over and over again in different ways until you move through that lesson until you either stop reacting stop making it personal stop blaming them start to take responsibility learn new ways of dealing with people that's when you start to get massive results and huge breakthroughs and, and quantum leaps in your love life and so the energy clearing is the is the big reason why i'm massively different from any other dating coach because the depth of the work is amazing it's incredible and that's why when I do the one-to-one -one work sometimes, you know, those women who've been told they can never get pregnant, they won't get pregnant, um, they can never do it naturally, three months later are sending me messages saying, I'm pregnant, we're having a baby, you know, at 45 or after the doctor told me I was never going to conceive naturally, you know. Because the energy clearing works on such a level that it's going into all the different hidden spots in your life that are holding you back so that your whole life can expand and then you're bringing in like a different quality of man. You know, when, when I think about my partner, and of course we go through our ups and downs because we're both human and we both have egos. Um the quality of man that he is how he is with me and the baby and the support he gives me and how he is in the house and 
um, the way that he's proactive about things is amazing. Like every now and again, I'll be like, holy shit, like this is really good. When I hear some women talk about their partners and what they're struggling with, I think, God, you know, I've got it good. I've got it really, really good. Now it's, but it's not luck. <laughs> It's not luck. Sometimes, you know, women, women will look at someone else, oh, I wish I was that lucky. It's not about luck. It's about your heart and, and meeting people at the right time. Yes, and there is divine timing, but it's not luck because you're around people all day, every day. The question is, are you really ready? Are you open to love? Are you really open to love? You know, are you ready to do what it takes to create that love in your life? Um, so eliminating hidden blocks to manifesting true love. So we that's another step. And we do that with the energy clearing, but also through a process where I teach um I teach my my clients how to look at their own belief structures. You know, what are the thoughts that you think? What is it? What are the stories that you believe? What are the beliefs that you have about love, about men? And how does that impact your behavior? What habits does it create? What are the kind of things that you say when you're on a date because of those beliefs? And what kind of results happen because of it? And I actually get um my girls to completely rework and rewire the belief system and you you know they as take them through a, a process where they get to see really really clearly how their beliefs are impacting their results i mean how powerful is that what a gift it is to see that this belief this thing i keep telling myself leads to this behavior and this habit and this result and when you change that you can see that when I show up as someone who is who expects the best who expects to have a great day then I'm open and I'm happy and I'm not looking for faults everywhere like you would be if you expect a date to go wrong you're looking for faults and you probably don't even know that you're doing it you're looking for something wrong with that person and don't worry you'll find it if you're looking for it whereas conversely you could be looking for the best in people you could be looking for what's really great about someone and then you'll find it. It's like, oh my God, the qualities are there. Look at this. This is what I asked for. This is when I did the manifesting challenge with Jay. This is what I was asking for and this is what I've got. But unless you're really aware of the way that your mind works, the stories that you're telling yourself and how that's actually impacting your behavior, you, you're, you're unconscious. You know, you are kind of asleep. You're walking and you're, you're, you're alive, but you're kind of sleepwalking through life, wondering why, you know, why does this keep happening to me over and over and over again? Does, it, does that make sense? Let me know if you've got any questions. Because how you, your beliefs that you have is everything. And that's why I love the energy clearing work, the theta healing that, that I use with my clients because it helps you to change your beliefs on such a deep level. It's literally like, this is what one of my teachers said, and it's so true. And it, it's happened for me in my life. You know, it's like trading in your old Ford for a Ferrari. Because when your thoughts are clear and you believe in yourself and you believe in life, everything moves forward very quickly it doesn't have to be difficult doesn't have to be complicated you don't have to have this 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 in place and you don't have to be perfect this isn't about when i become the perfect woman who has no issues then i can have a relationship no it's not that either because you'll always have places and spaces to grow every time you your your comfort zone expands then there's something else to you know deal with but you'll have the tools to to move through it so much quicker does it make sense um which is the next step in awakening sacred love is having the tools to manage your stress when you're dating 
having the tools to manage the old behaviours that you would go into, whether that is jumping into bed with someone straight away just to find out if it, what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And I've had clients who who do that as a way to, the, in their minds, they're like, well, is, if it's going to happen or it's not going to happen, I need to know quicker. So I'll, I'll go quicker into the sex and then I'll find out what they're really like. It's not logical, but it's just what they've learned. Or they expect to get rejection and so they think, well, well, I'll have sex and then we'll see what happens after that. And so, and, and actually, these are women who want to get married. But they're not presenting themselves necessarily as a woman who has that mentality. And, and once they can be more authentic about what they truly want and they know how to ask for what they desire and they know how to ask for what they need and they know how to ask for what will take care of them, everything changes but sometimes in the moment if that person's not messaged you for a while if you feel triggered um if you feel worried if you feel like distant and connecting because that's the way that you look after yourself is by cutting off and being avoidant then i teach my clients how to ride the roller coaster you know that's part of the awakening sacred love method because here's the truth i'm not going to be there for you all the time am i i'm not going to be here coaching you every day for the rest of your life you need tools that you can use by yourself way after we work together you know i need you to be empowered i need you to have the tools and the techniques that when a curveball comes when a trigger comes when you are freaking out that you've got something that is going to help you in the moment you know and that's very valuable because emotional regulation is is paramount in creating true love because if you start projecting all your shit onto your partner it's not going to end well same if they're doing it onto you it's not going to end well and sometimes they will but if you know how to emotionally regulate yourself you're not taking it all on does it make sense you know hey darling Hey Susan, so it's um, it's invaluable. That's a really inv invaluable part of of that awakening sacred love method is that you have the tools that you can use on on everything. You know, whether it be around talking about finances in a relationship, whether it be around um, how often you want to see someone, or if that person has not contacted you for a while and you're starting to feel really nervous. And you feel like I'm going to do something stupid. <laughs> then you want those tools to to ride that emotional roller coaster. And then what happens off the back of that is the best version of you is coming forward, not the insecure version of you, not the version of you that doesn't trust anybody, not the version of you that needs to avoid people when things get a bit too close and a bit too intimate. You learn how to manage all of that and stay connected to and taking action in what you truly want, which is to move forward with your with your love, you know, is to move forward with the person that you're really interested in. We do a section on tripling your self-worth. So that's the next step. Because self-worth, hi Faisa, is um you know self-worth is a massive piece in relationships Harper said hi Jay oh my days you are brilliant thank you that's nice to hear thank you um and it's really interesting because there you know when we're thinking about manifesting our soulmate we just think about you know tell me the dating strategy you know there are so many videos on on youtube which is like you know use this sneaky tactic to make him love you or um send this text and and, and he'll never ignore you again and and all this kind of like you know the the, the dark side um of mind control and this on both sides of the camps right you've got men who are using these kind of techniques and I've spoken to you about this in videos before like with some schools not all but some schools of thought um, they teach men to 
to to to kind of verbally focus on it and to pick at a woman a woman's possible insecurities um, and where she's not perfect where um, to try and make her feel insecure so that she feels she has to prove something to the man so it kind of unbalances her especially if she's good looking because she's not used to people doing that she's used to people giving her compliments all the time so when somebody comes with something a bit opposite it's a bit of a pattern interrupt and she starts to she starts to feel like oh i need to prove myself to this man right now that sounds terrible right except they wouldn't teach it if it didn't work unfortunately it clearly works i don't want any of my girls to be on the receiving end of or playing into any of that kind of crap which is why we talk about tripling your self-worth we want you to be with a man who is good enough in himself that he wants to treat you well <laughs> and he wants to treat himself well and he wants to be treated well without all of this kind of manipulation and games and tactics and the stuff that I teach I'll teach you about you know what it means to be in a masculine feminine dynamic what it means to lean back what it means to to change the way you approach men but it's all from a from a place that it serves you both it serves them to be able to step into their masculine energy and to um to move forward to, towards you because that's how a man chooses a woman you know not by a woman chasing him all the time and putting everything on a plate for him and saying here I am here I am come and take me come and take me it's not how he chooses someone to commit to it's a it's by his own investment his own choice of investment that well that sounds very easy and you think well duh. um of course we're all like that but the problem is a lot of women the way that they're dating and the way they're showing up and the way they're desperate for approval it gives the opposite effect and that's why they're not getting the commitment that they want so when we work on the on the the self-esteem and again with the energy clearing we each every week there's like a you get access to a, to a recorded one hour or more 90 minute um coaching live coaching that was that's been recorded that you'll access plus the classes for the week where you'll get to have a look at what do i really believe about myself and is that really serving me so there'll be some great things that you really believe about yourself and there'll be some not great things that you really believe about yourself and how is that affecting your dating life because a lot of women in my groups when I'm working with them, they're accepting behavior from guys that is really not good. Some of them are, are aware that they're, ex they're accepting really bad behavior. And some of them are so needy for approval that they don't even realize how they're coming across. And perhaps you've had a friend like that you know, that you love dearly, that you know is just an amazing soul and so deserves the very, very best. But it's like when it comes to men, you just think, are you absolutely clueless? Like, why are you doing that? Why are you going to meet him again after he's treated you like that? Not once, not twice, but three times. And you're still going to meet this guy. It's like, stop being a doormat. But all that's to do with self-esteem. You can, And again, like I said, you can have the best dating strategy in the world, but it's not going to work if you haven't got the self-esteem. And that's why it's part of the Awakening Sacred Love process because Awakening Sacred Love is about true, authentic love. It's not about, I'm going to do this manipulation tactic to get his attention so that he's focused on me and then I get what I want because those things don't last. They will work in the moment. Very often they will work in the moment, I won't lie, but they damn well won't last because eventually that insecurity is going to come through or that ice queen is going to come through or that fear of intimacy is, is going to come through and then it's going to all fall on its ass. But by then you'll have been more invested in this person because you've tried all these different tactics, right, <laughs> to make it work. So you're more invested in them than they are in you and 
that's why it's important to go through these these processes um, and stepping into your new love story so that's that's point a is stepping into your new love story so there's a big piece at the end of the course about manifestation and creating a new story for your life so the reason the big reason because i have a whole other online course on manifesting because i'm good at that <laughs> look <laughs> i'm pretty good at that <laughs> um the the reason we do the manifestation work at the end is because if you do it at the beginning you're not in a clear enough place to call in what you want and to keep it there because the reason that relationships haven't been sticking for you is because there are things that you need to clear there are some strat new strategies that you need to adopt and new beliefs that you need to adopt and some crappy old stuff that you really need to let go of. Now, when you've let go of that old stuff and you've forgiven you out of those habits where you're chasing unavailable men and you're trying to make him like you and you're like, oh, what, what can I do? How can I make him do this? How can I get him to do that? And you let go of all that and you start adopting a cherished girl mentality then when you start to manifest from that place and that's when you start to move out of the program hi Frida um that's when big changes start to happen but if you start doing that manifesting work in the beginning while you've got all those funky beliefs while you've got parallel beliefs like I really want it I'm really scared of it I really want it I'm really scared of it I want to be have a committed relationship but I'm afraid of losing my freedom you'd be surprised how many women have these parallel beliefs and then what you do is you manifest someone who's just like you in and out in and out in and out <laughs> right and you don't realize that it's got anything to do with what's going on in the inside of you so in that last week we're really looking at like how can I change my story what practices do I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis that are going to get you towards the kind of love that you really want and then um, everyone's at a different starting place you're like all the girls that have been on cherished and it starts again january 5th it's a self-study course you can pay in one payment or you can pay uh, in four i've actually broken it down to four payments to make it really really easy and if you sign up by sunday you actually get my four hour dating masterclass free as well um uh, so you can go and check that out it's the links above um where was i up to i'm sorry i completely interrupted myself there um oh yeah the manifesting so it's just so exciting it's just so exciting to see like everyone's starts in a different place you know some women who come to cherished have been single for years and years and years and years and have a really negative have had a really negative belief system about love about themselves about relationships sometimes they're even in the point where I think nothing works for me nothing's ever going to work for me and during the space of that those eight short weeks because it's only a short time they start to shift their belief system and when they start to shift their belief system they start to believe in the possibility of love again and when they start to become more positive guess what happens they show up on dates as a different kind of woman and their dates go better they start to attract higher quality men because they're not a negative black hole anymore that's just like i'm desperate for your love i'm desperate for your love please love me please love me their internal sense of worth has raised and they know that they're a catch and these are very beautiful very clever women right um, and, and a lot of us have been in that place at one time or another. And I know I have. I know I've been in that place where I've just been like, that's it. It's never going to happen. Yeah. But it, you can turn that around. But everyone's in a different starting place, you know. So that woman goes from no hope to having hope and feeling like she's cracked the dating code and can really start to move forward. Then there are other women who have been through a tricky divorce. And then by week three, <laughs> have somehow found themselves this incredible man. And by week eight, 
you know, this guy is like, I really want to be with you. Let's talk about how we can move forward together. You know, she feels very much claimed and seen and heard and like, oh my God, this is amazing. There are other women, actually some women join my program and they are actually married because they've worked with me before. They know how powerful the energy clearing is and a lot of the stuff you can apply if you're actually in a relationship. So they've joined and they've seen the relationship dynamic shift and family dynamic shift and other parts of their lives open up. Um, so that's amazing. And then some other ladies have um, just having a wildly amazing time dating great guys who are taking care of them, who are supporting them, who... Um, who are taking them to lovely places and on lovely dates and offering to, you know, getting them taxis home and holding their coats and treating them like a lady. And they are being perfect gentlemen and they've never experienced that before. And it's not because they've, you know, gone out and got a new, <laughs> a new haircut or false eyelashes or any of that shit. If anything, they're making less effort than they did before and they're getting better results. So it's only a matter of time until they've got a pool of people to choose from. And then they get to choose who's the right person for me. Not just who's available and who wants to possibly be in a relationship, but who's the right person for me. And that's the place you want to be in, in a relaxed way where you feel like you've kind of you're attracting better quality guys um so it's very special have you got any questions any questions for me so that's that's the uh, the awakening sacred love method that i use with my clients with the girls on the cherish program um like i say you're welcome to join We've only got a few days left. If you really know that you want to create love this year, it's for you. It's not for you if you just kind of want to keep saying, I want this, I want this, I want this, but you're not actually willing to make any changes and you're not willing to look inside. This course probably isn't for you. Um, you can just keep watching those YouTube videos and when you're ready, maybe we'll see you then, you know, or you'll choose to go with a different coach you know who you feel really connected to but um make sure it's somebody that you really trust and those that are ready i'm sure will will join the program and those that aren't well and that's all good um no questions i can't see any questions i'll just give it a couple of more minutes maybe i should pop this in the comments as well for you so you can see the link to the program so now you know the method and how it works there's um about 10 hours of energy clearing over eight weeks there's about 10 plus hours of specific coaching um, that's been recorded for you and that looks at stuff from anything from um, negotiating sex, negotiating condoms, negotiating um, um, long distance relationships, if you really want children and you haven't got time to waste, um, masculine and feminine energy, what to do if someone's already in a relationship or has just come out of a marriage um and lots of different lots of like very specific scenarios get answered in that in that session Harper said can't wait to start i'm already having day after day i love it she said i've honestly i've never had so much attention <laughs> boop, boop. it's only gonna get better babe it's only gonna get better for you i can't wait to see what happens at the end of those eight weeks for you it's so exciting um what else can I say? No, I think that's it. Can't see any more questions, so I'll leave it there. If you're on the replay, hashtag replay, you can pop me a message as well. 
and I'll still come back and answer. So I'm Jay Diamond, Love and Intimacy Coach. I really hope that that served you tonight. You learned something from it. If you want more, then the link to Cherished is in the comments. And um, you can always let me know if you have any questions about it. It starts Monday the 6th of January. You next, darling. You next. Bye.